Well, hey there. What's up? How are you? How are you? Good, I hope. I'm ready for some growth. How about you? Can you think of a person or a thing or an activity that you'd really like to cut out of your life right now? Um, why do you think you haven't? Haven't cut it out. It's time to start protecting your space, time, and energy. Thanks for showing up today. I'm Sage. I'm a growth coach. And our topic today is unsubscribe, unfollow, block, walk away, and breathe. So why do we put up with people, things, or activities that we don't really want in our life anymore? Number one, fear. We're afraid that we won't find something better or um, that we'll be alone or lonely or we're going to ruffle some feathers. Uh, is that a reason? Is that a reason to keep those things in your life? Uh, another reason that we might keep something around is because change is hard. Change is really hard. Like it takes commitment and time and energy and effort and practice. And that's a lot of work. <laughs> and maybe, just maybe, we're afraid of confrontation. Um, you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings? Well... Aren't your feelings being hurt right now because you're staying in that situation or staying in that commitment? I don't know. A couple quotes. Protect your space and circle. Invest in people who will feed you with as much goodness as you feed them. Ooh. There's a breath right there, right? Feed them with as much growth, okay? As you feed, they feed you, right? Mutual exchange, exchange, excuse me. Now, another quote, light attracts light. But sometimes your light attracts moths and your warmth attracts parasites. Protect your space and energy. Warsan Shire. I really like that. You know, we talk about a lot on here that we want to make sure that we're light and we're love and we're compassion. And there's a lot of people who are going to value that so much. And then there's this little group over here that's going to just leech it right off of you. Know the difference, right? So what activity in your schedule needs to be removed? And why haven't you? And what person needs to be removed from your space and attention? Or at least some very firm boundaries set? Why haven't you? What clutter needs to re be removed from your home to open space for more peace and joy. Why haven't you? Well, maybe you don't know how to start. So how about I give you four ways to clear more space for joy. So let's start with learn to say no. No is a perfectly acceptable sentence. Nope. Don't have to explain it. Don't have to justify it. You can just say no. I give you permission. Next, set boundaries. Protect your space, protect your energy, protect your time. Oh, protect your peace and your joy. Okay? Notice the people who will actually value it and then shoo to the rest. Or 
you can't shoo them out of your life. I know there's people you can't shoo out of your life. If you can't shoo them out of your life, firm boundary. Not up in here, right? Um, number three, choose wellness over others. This is not selfish, people. It isn't selfish. Your wellness, your peace, your joy, your love, your happiness, that's all you have. Protect it. Choose you. Choose you again. Always choose you. This is not selfish. If you choose you and your own wellness, oh my goodness, you have so much more to give from the appropriate place, not from some frazzled out, uh, dying in here place. People want the real light inside of you when you're giving to somebody else. They do not want this damage frayed, um, leached off of energy. Choose you. And number four, stop being lazy. Okay. Is this cluttered life the life you want forever? Ugh. Or would two weeks of really busy, really hard work just blow open some space for more joy? You don't got two weeks for your joy, for your peace? Then maybe you're just being lazy. You got to choose to stop being lazy, you gotta choose wellness over others, you gotta set boundaries, and you gotta learn to say no. Unsubscribe, unfollow, block, walk away, oh, then breathe, breathe in the peace. Who and what can you start clearing today, right? How can you start making your joy and your wellness a priority? Because you deserve it, because you're growing. You're growing with me. Sorry, um, I found this person on social media and I'm growing with her right now and I, I don't have time for this. Love you guys.